Hi, welcome to InterAxis channel and InterAxis.io. We're going to start talking about the fact that we recently started not one but two DAOs because why start one when you can start two? But they're very different in terms of, uh, of, of the goals and, and what we're trying to create. They're very different in terms of the people that are joining, the, the groups that are joining. Uh, so it's really interesting and so we wanted to try to document the process a little bit and let everyone see kind of what we're, we're doing, going through, how we're building this. So this is not going to be like a master class in how to build a DAO. Uh, it's not going to tell you what you should or shouldn't do. It's going to tell you some of the things that we're finding along the way, some things that are interesting, tough, easy, great, horrible, all those parts of trying to build what we think is kind of the next generation, how companies can be built and grown uh, in the near and distant future. So to tell you a little bit about a couple of these that we started, one of them is called Planner Dow, and this is the first one we started several um, uh, months ago and this is actually for financial advisors so our goal here is to, is to allow financial advisors to come into this community and to chat and and to um, figure out how we can help each other and in so doing help the industry help the business and the difference here one is we're getting financial advisors who are not not all necessarily very DeFi and crypto native so getting them in you know to, to come and sign up for free and be part of this community is one thing. Getting them to come back and have activity and, and get them to chat about things and take ownership and, and do some work is a little bit harder because in reality they're going, look, I, I have another job. I have other things to do as a financial advisor. So if we don't get attention right off the bat and show what we can do, um, then then maybe we lose some interest. We are going to issue a, a, a token for them, So, but, but trying to get across the point that we have this community, we're trying to make it valuable, and by coming to work in this community, you will then have the ability to potentially grow your net worth because you're getting some of these tokens. You can work and get some tokens. You can you get some just by being an advisor and trying to understand how this is different from other nonprofit groups that you might be a part of. This is different from financial planning association, CFP board, whatever it might be, because by actually helping and working, we can we can actually have assets. We can build things. We can build frameworks. We can um, build in indexes. We, whatever we want to do just by virtue of the conversations that we have. And if we build so much value in this community, then the tokens that you have have value. So it's about going, okay, we're going to issue you tokens that represent, you know, kind of the ownership or governance or value of this community. And if we can build up the value of the community, then we build up the value of tokens. How do we do that? We talk about why would these tokens have value? Why would someone pay for them? What would they do? And then we, we you know, kind of spur innovation. But the hard part is having to get into a totally different mindset than most financial planners and financial advisors are used to when they come into uh, an organization of advisors. It's usually like, yeah, we want to help each other, but why am I going to devote time to it? And so it's a convincing of, here's why you might want to devote time. And then it's a little bit of seeding that market of, of saying, look, here's some ideas that we already have. So, and we already have some working groups. We contributed the certified digital asset advisor designation that we created over to Planner DAO, and now we have a working group that is determining the direction of this certification, this designation. So we have a group within Planner DAO that, that's determining this. So it's not myself, it's not you know my partners that we started this this certification with. It's this group is coming together and going, what do we want for this certification and designation? And we're going to put in the work because we know it'll be valuable. It'll make our tokens valuable and the community valuable. So. That, that's a little bit of that, and, and, and we'll keep going down the, the road there. The other one we started is called LearnDAO, and this one was started with people who are more DeFi, DAO, crypto native or crypto centric, and we met most of these people on Discord or Telegram or on, on crypto Twitter or something, with the idea that we want to create a decentralized education platform, okay, in, in a way that we can offer. Um, free, in this case, free, you know, DeFi and crypto education to those anywhere in the world that want to learn about crypto and DeFi with the hopes of getting more adoption. That's, that's really what we want. And, and the idea came because we thought, man, there are so many protocols, so many uh, companies, exchanges, cryptocurrencies that 
would benefit from having more adoption. We have some content. We know others have some content. Why don't we, you know, so either get grants or crowdsource or something to be able to release all this for free because that would get more adoption. And then the, the thought became, okay, how can we give incentive to more creators to create content? So we have learners over here, people who want to learn, and maybe they will get paid in tokens. And then we have creators over here that want to create, and maybe they will get paid in some tokens. And we don't know we're working through that. So that is a community that went from, from uh, some Discord groups and such to our own Telegram group, to our own Discord group, and now we're moving through that. And some of the interesting pieces there are, man, people jumped in and just started working, just took roles on. Uh, we, we have a Discord channel, we have different, or we, or we have Discord server, we have different channels within the Discord server. People are, are really moving pretty quickly. But what we've seen uh, already there is um, trying, to, uh, trying to direct the people uh, tr trying to direct towards a mission and vision because this is not as much a traditional DAO. This isn't just a bunch of us that got together and pooled some money and we're going to go buy, uh, buy NFTs and we got to figure out how we're do going to do that. This has essentially become creating a protocol for education that happens to be managed and run by a DAO. So now we're working through some tokenomics issues, so having to whole, learn a whole lot about when we issue tokens, how we issue tokens, how's that going to work, so we don't just issue you know, 100 million tokens and say this is our governance token and everyone gets some. We, we want to really be thoughtful about it, so now we have this chicken and egg problem where we go, okay, we, we, we want people to come in and do some work for us, maybe even create some content. We don't have a token yet, we just have to promise you that we're going to get that. We're going to get some funds and we're going to get a token. So then we have issues with when do we go try to get grants? When do we go try to raise funds? What do we have to do to get to those points? We don't actually have a product or a service yet. We, do we have to build that? How much time and effort are we going to have to put in kind of pro bono until we get to that? that point. So those are some of the issues we're going for. It's not as easy as call yourself a DAO, get a bunch of people in there, issue a token, and all of a sudden you, you list that token and it goes up in value. It is actually building a company, but the beauty of this and the beauty of, of Planar DAO, but really the beauty of LearnDAO for me is you can have an idea, get it out there, to, and, and a bunch of people will just jump in and start working because they believe in the idea. And at some point when we have a token and at some point when we get funding, we already have the team in place. We We've already built something because we've all put in the effort. I don't have to go, all right, I have an idea. I'm going to you know, fund it myself, get a friends and family round, then maybe go hire a few people, then try to do another round, another round, another round. The people are already there and already working. So as soon as we get some funding and as soon as we can progress forward, as soon as we show that, that what we're doing is, is really great, that's all more than likely going to come. So we're going to keep documenting these. We're going to keep documenting what's going on in video and in blog and in Twitter and everything else. So we hope you'll tune in. We hope you'll enjoy this. We're going to hopefully find some great stuff. There's going to be some, some tough moments here. Uh, if you want to come help us, then, then find us and help us. Uh, hope you like this, and I hope to see you next week in the next update video.